Okay, I'm sure many of you are very familiar with the Estes uh, model rocket kits you can find in your local hobby stores. Um, these have been around for years. They're a lot of fun. Have a lot of great times with them and I'm sure you've come up with some other creative ways to uh, play with these great model rockets. So anyway, um, recently was in and uh, had some ideas and wanted to make myself a wireless launching system. Just to bring some of you up to speed that may not be so familiar with the way these all work, you've got the model rocket kit, uh, standard uh, airplane glue and uh, uh, some X-Acto blades and uh, some time at the, the workbench you can put these together real easy. Uh, what makes them go is a propellant, which is a rocket here that I have, and this is what the end of it, where the uh, accelerant is uh, let out, um, kind of looks like a fireworks of sort, and that hole is there for purpose to put in one of the Estes, or Estes, I'm sorry, uh, igniters. It has a little bit of propellant on the end of it, it's a fusible link, you put over 6 volts DC across this and it basically will ignite the rocket, so this is the standard suggested launch system by Estes that they retail. It's got uh, four basic AA batteries inside for a total of six volts. It's got a little safety feature here with the key. Um, just for demonstration purposes, I have both of the alligator clips which would actually clip on to that igniter that I showed you. So basically you would clip this onto the igniter, one clip for each side that becomes the fusible link and then when that is clipped together this light will light up indicating that you have continuity and then you have a fire button and that will ignite the fusible length and that will also ignite the rocket and up it goes so that's the quick how to on that um, this is a cord and you have to stand a couple feet away and ignite one at a time that's uh, fine and dandy all fun and games but I wanted to utilize my RC remote control into a real high-tech launch system. As you can see on the board and presented here, just a quick look at the schematic diagram and uh, circuit diagram that the design for this. I will just zoom in just a little bit and we'll take a quick review of this. We're not going to spend too much time on it. If you're at this uh, level of um, electronics and hobbying, uh, you can figure this out quite simple. It's not a difficult design. I chose to design a four channel launch system and that is what is exhibited up here so this is the launch docking system here we've got our six volt supply and the fusible length that I showed you before would be this guy right here and then we got a resistor an arm switch and it goes to ground we got a key switch for master control and this DS stands for a digital switch um, the thing to point out is when you're using the sped, spread spectrum receivers or if you're using a servo control coming off of any RC uh, servos are based on a PWM pulse width modulation and that coming off of the receiver board alone is not going to work for you so we have a little circuit that we found we'll uh, reference that later and it makes it real nice digital switch so we can essentially hook up our circuit with this resistance in here to keep the feasible length from from igniting until we're ready the digital switch actually switches this part of the circuit down to ground therefore path of least resistance to ground and it puts the full six volts full current across that fusible link and we have ignition so that's the way that works there uh, the other things we'll show you in just a moment when we do our demonstration you'll see how this all comes together with the hardware I will point out down here below just um, as far as the circuits concerned the one thing in my design is that I use two power sources, two 6 volts, they're separated, they're isolated between the two. And uh, this down below is the receiver for the wireless and it has um, its own standard RC battery pack, standard thing you find in any hobby store across the country um, or online. Easily obtainable, easily easy to recharge. Uh, I've got a 6 volt uh, meter with some LEDs, it's a little board from Hobbico. Hobbico, they make this for RC airplanes and RC craft so you can easily see your voltage on your battery before you fly so you know if you need to give it a quick charge or not before you get going and I put a nice convenient charging port for that. My uh, other thing for mentioning is the 6 volt DC for my actual ignition circuit is run off of alkaline batteries because it's not being utilized the current is not being utilized only during um, the staging point 
and when they're actually firing off the igniter so uh, those won't wear out too quickly and you want a nice good solid power source so we so far I've elected to go ahead and utilize the the AA batteries for that portion in a uh, four pack to give us the six volt DC. Alrighty, now we'll go ahead and show you um, how this all came together hardware wise, the fun part. Um, one other thing to point out, uh, we'll just take a quick little zoom over here to the corner. You see we have, and I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see this, a template and that was part of my design. If you take it step by step and you plan your design process through, uh, you can get a real nice clean product and an end result. So this is what it wound up inside of. The standard awesome Pelican cases. These things are rugged, durable, waterproof. They're a little bit of a price associated with them, but they really are some of the greatest gearboxes around. Uh, sometimes you'll have to order them if you're not in a metropolitan area with good supply shops that uh, provide this uh, for photography, electronics, gear, um, electronic stores um, of higher quality will carry those type of boxes. So here we go. Okay, here's a quick mock-up of our uh, demonstration for our RC wireless remote rocket launch detonation system. As you can see, it even includes our PBR, phony baloney rocket. So anyway, here we go. Here's the nice yellow pelican box that we have our project enclosure and inside of here, we'll go ahead and open this up. It can be completely locked out so nobody will be playing with it when we don't want them to be. If you have children or kids around, you, for the adults, they can keep their kids locked out of it. That's kind of a nice thing. And here we go, inside of here, we'll get some close-up shots of this in a minute. We've got four channels. Currently I've only got uh, one channel uh, integrated inside, but I can easily um, hook up the other remaining four channels later on. Then I'm using a standard receiver that comes with the uh, Spectrum receiver. And your RC enthusiasts are well aware of the six, DX6i. The whole line of Spectrum products are exceptionally uh, awesome products that are great for this type of application because of the secure channel feature and we're not running into conflict with the traditional RCers that use the crystal controlled transmitters so you don't have to have the DX6i but if you have any of these spread spectrum type of uh, uh, radio systems you could consider a project like this because the receiver is model matched to the transmitter therefore your buddy that may have a similar type of system is not going to inadvertently set off your rockets. So that's the real plus. That's a real key factor. Digital controlled. Um, the other thing as I mentioned before the uh, the output is a uh, pulse width modulation for the servo control so we have another little chip inside underneath this board that we'll show you in a moment that makes it more of a digital switch so we can go ahead and fire a rocket off. Um, just for demonstration purposes this would not be set up directly next to the rocket of course. This is just a simplified uh, version for the demonstration, but we go ahead and plug it into the phono jack or the RCA jack, whatever your preference is. It's just simply uh, alligator clips on the end going right up to the igniter. Um, we have a nice barrel key for the master lockout on the ignition switch on the ignition circuit. Uh, we have these nice firing buttons here, and they will actually do they um, actually do a continuity test on the tips of these. You'll see in a moment will actually light up when this is energized. Uh, these were found at Radio Shack, which was an unfortunate find. I didn't have to go online to order and wait, although you could probably get them just about anywhere online from uh, electronic distributorships and dealerships. Not a big deal there. 